There we go. There we go. <laughs> Mari catches the biggest bass. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him on the glide! On the glide, baby! Oh! Right there! Got him! There's another one! Here we go. That's one. Hey, that's one on the glide bait. Hey. Whoa! Are you okay? <laughs> that wasn't our plan. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just fell down. You, yeah, you fell down. Okay, You're okay though. What's going on guys? Can you say what's going on? <laughs> Alright, so we are at Bass Pro Shops and they're having a little Father's Day sale. And we gotta get our story straight with Mama before we go in here, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so you wanted to take me to Bass Pro Shops because I'm an amazing dad to you, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so you're gonna buy me a whole bunch of stuff for Father's Day and then we're gonna go fishing. We're gonna take two fishing trips. So the plan is, Leo's gonna go in here and he's gonna buy me a whole bunch of stuff because I need some new gear. Um, also, I've been making promises to y'all about some stuff that I'm gonna get out of Bass Pro. And there's and, animals. And there's animals in here. Yeah. I've been making y'all promises about, you know, they have some cool new hard baits and everything. And I say it every video, but I never do it. So today's the day we're gonna get some of the cool new hard baits. Um, they have like big glide baits and wake baits and whatnot, and I want some, and Leo wants some too. So it's gonna be Leo's Father's Day present to me. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna look at the animals, look at the fishies. Is this one of your favorite stores? Do you love Bass Pro Shops? Just my friend there, house. Your friends are in there? No. No? Is this your house? Do you want Bass Pro Shops to be your house? That's kinda of like my house. That kinda of looks like your house? My house too. Maybe it will be our house one day. Would you live in there? We're gonna go into Bass Pro Shops. Leo's gonna pick out some tackle for us today. This is gonna be like our Father's Day video. We're gonna hang out today, okay? High five. All right, you gotta pick me out some fishing lures, okay? And then we're gonna go fishing. Oh. Perfect. All right, so the plan is, I'm gonna take the stuff that Leo gets for me out fishing first, because it's gonna take me a little bit probably to catch fish and all the stuff. Cause fishy, Daddy. You see fishies? Oh yeah. I'm gonna take my stuff out first because it's probably gonna take me a minute. And I wanna make sure that I'm big on like Leo's fishing experiences not being, you know, three, four hours out on the kayak. You see a deer? Whoa. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go take all the stuff out. I'm gonna take my first. Deer, fishies, and animals. I'm gonna take all my stuff out, go fishing, go try to catch the biggest bass possible. You know how we do. And then we're gonna take Leo bluegill fishing at the end of the video. So we're gonna get a good two for one. It's gonna be like two fishing trips in one video. So, all right, you ready, Think? Yeah. You wanna get down? Yeah. You wanna look at the boats? Maybe you should buy daddy a boat today. How about that? You wanna get a boat? No. No? Wrong answer. Get down. That boat will make your legs really strong. It really is a proud dad moment whenever I bring Leo to Bass Pro because he just goes crazy. Whether it's looking at the boats or looking at the fishing stuff or whatever. Look. Yeah. Like you can't you can't beat that because that's like, oh yeah, son, because if I didn't feel like I would get in trouble, I would be here doing the exact same thing. Cool, it's cool. Get out. You wanna get out? Yeah. Yeah. Do you wanna get a bass boat? Look, Daddy Daddy wants to get a boat like that. Daddy's gonna get us a boat like that. Daddy wants a big one so he can do stuff in it. Cool. That's cool. All right, let's go look at the fishing stuff. It's for, I think it stands for fast. What do you think it stands for? It's for slow. You think it stands for fast? Yeah. Whoa. All right, I really think that our fish tank is one of the best in the world. 
Yeah. I'll put our fish tank up. Like where it is right now, I think we have one of the best ones I've ever seen the Bass Pro for like freshwater fish. I've seen some with I think like tarpon and snook uh, in South Florida, which that oh, yeah, one's pretty cool. Yeah. But here we have like, it's loaded with huge I slab bluegill it. crappie. There's a small mouth in here. We probably don't have a small mouth. We're like 50 miles from where we're at in Leeds. All right, look, I need you to pick me something out. Look, over here in this section, pick me out anything that you like. You want that one, the black one? Get it. Can you show me what you got? Turn it around. So first lure is gonna be a smooth walker. I wanna do top water because it's top water time and I try to take full advantage of top water season because it's not here forever. And most of the time if I, like when I think to do a challenge video with top water lures, I wanna do it with top water. Also, I see another lure that's called a chaos shad and all these lures are 25% off. So save a buck when you can. I'm sure it's probably just for this Father's Day sale that started today. And I think it goes until Father's Day weekend. So June 16th, 17th, I'll pop it up on the screen. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna guide you a little bit because I want one of these chaos shads. So will you pick me one of these also, Leah? Yeah. Look, pick one of those right there. Like this? Yeah, do you wanna get that one? Pull it off. Yeah, take it. Keep pulling. Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> you want that one? Yeah, we're gonna get both of them. Uh, uh, before, uh, yeah. Oh, those. Yeah. Ooh, that one looks cool. They're, they're, look, there's all different types of colors. You don't have to pick that one. Look, there's some over here. There's some up there. Just don't pick an ugly color for me. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, get it? Got to pull it out. There you go. You want to get another one? Yeah, you can get that one. All right, look. We got all of our lures, so sit them out. Can you say what all this stuff is? Yeah. All right. Tell, say what it is. Can you point and tell me? You tell me. <laughs> Daddy's been promising everybody that watches the videos that he'll get these big fishy baits. So we had to get a big fishy bait too, okay? Pick one last lure and then we're done, okay? I'm starting to lose them. Pick me a big fishy bait. Look, yeah, pick one of these big fishies. Whichever one you want to. Whichever one, you pick it. You want that one? All right, grab it. All right guys, so I have been eyeballing these ever since they have came out. Um, this is called a swerve. This is the one Leo picked out for me. So we're gonna also throw this into the challenge. Dude, you are coming up better than I am. You got a hat, a net, and you got a fishing rod. All right, so $94 later, we have five lures, a new combo, a net, and a hat. So now we just have to take two separate fishing trips and go catch the most fish that we possibly can. Do you think you're gonna catch a bigger fish than daddy? Okay, it's time for a nap. So see y'all on the water, stay tuned. All right guys, we have made it out on the water. If you look at this kayak, I have stripped it down to absolutely nothing. So to this point, you haven't seen the new one because I've been busy at work for the past couple of days rigging up the new one. Um, I've had to do literally anything that you can think to it. I've done it, but I feel like I officially have like a tournament rig kayak. I'm not gonna lie to you. I enjoyed the process of rigging that kayak out so much, but if I didn't have to do it again for another two, three years, like as long as I don't have to go into it, I'd be happy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the big plopper first. This is huge, but it's kind of compact. Ooh, it has a good deep sound too, I like that. Whoa. And I know this thing's super heavy, but that cast really far. Ooh, I might have a little bit of a backlash on this reel. All right, so now this kayak is literally just kayak. There's no fish finder. There's no nothing special. This kayak runs on solely a lithium battery and fishing intuition. So, oh, all right. oh one got it already. One came up and got it the second hit the water right there. I'm telling you this is the best time of year just because you can throw a top water get up early you don't have to even be up at like the crack of dawn just you know, somewhat early go throw you a top water along the bank you just cast it up there reel it back cast it up there reel it back if you do it enough you're gonna get bit i'm excited to see if this one gets like bigger bites or my experience with big baits is yes they are good for catching big fish generally but also you'd be surprised at some of like the little fish that you'll catch on you know big stuff like this because that bite we just had right there didn't look like the biggest fish in the world or not necessarily like the caliber of fish that you would think would try to come up and fix i'm gonna 
trim my legs a little bit on this frog. Come up behind it. I'm trying to find it. Oh yeah, that's a good one, boys. Ah, oh, I will never get tired of this. I mean, we have been doing a good bit of crappie fishing. Oh, look at that one, boys. We've been doing so much crappie fishing. I forgot how much fun this is. These things are absolute tanks in you. I mean, first fish on a frog. A three pounder like it has the body it might be a four pounder it has the body of not a four pounder he's up there in that grass just hanging out and i saw him come up and try to find it i stopped it let it sit he found it and smoked it dude that's so, that's such a good feeling i mean crop here is so much fun don't get me wrong but all right this is this is like the best golly thank you so much so we're gonna go ahead and put you back look how fat that fish is like All right, see you later, sir. Thank you. He's gonna do a flip or something. No, no flip. Teeth marks on it. That's the best way to break in a new frog. We used to have a lot more frog opportunity over here, so. I'm not saying that I'm a genius, but after I trim that tail, got a bite, just saying. Oh, he didn't get it good. Let's stand up for this one. I did pull on him a little bit, so might have spooked him, but I bet he'll eat it again. It might take him a minute. But I was thinking, I was like, I need a worm to follow up with, but I only have a glide bait. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't... Okay, so these fish have been spawning since March or so. I promise you there's a huge light spot back there and I see a fish sitting on it. I'm gonna try to cast over and see if I can't catch them. I mean, that's 100% a bed back there and there's 100% a bass on it. Okay, we're gonna see how good of a fisherman I am. I'm gonna throw this glide bait over there and see if maybe they'll eat that. It's the only sub... It's literally the only subsurface lure. But lucky for me, there's a pound and a half are on the bed and then there's like a three pounder roaming around so maybe this will attract some attention or it'll just spook them off oh yeah he's behind it he'll eat it he'll eat it oh he's following it he's following it following it following it following it following it turned okay I feel like the first cast is always the best one, so. Oh, that's not that good of a cast. Got him, got him, got him, got him on the glide. On the glide, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I just bed fished a fish on June 4th on a glide bait <laughs> okay we're gonna go ahead and get them up here and get them released actually we're gonna let them fight a little bit because these trouble are big and i don't have a net oh he's a lot bigger than what i thought he was this isn't the big one but i mean he's still a lot better <laughs> look at that boy awesome okay Oh, that's a good one. It's the same size as that first one. 
not gonna lie to y'all, he didn't look that big in the water. Look at that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this one go since we did catch him off a bit. It's just right there. Hopefully we'll walk him swim back up to it. Oh, okay. I don't know which way he went. I lost him, but I'm sure he's definitely making his way back over there. Cool. <laughs> he was on the glide bait. And that didn't take too long either. I hate it wasn't the big one though. There was a huge one on that bed. Hey, that was fun. It was fun to watch him like react to it because a few casts in there, he would get fired up and come get it, but he would bite. He was taking the top of it. You can kind of see the teeth marks on it a little bit from where he was taking it. But I mean, he ate the top. He ate the top half of it about four or five times. I mean, that wasn't the biggest fish in the world, but that just kind of shows, you know, just because you throw a big bait like this. The drawing power of it is insane because that first cast, I had that big one behind it. And then every pitch I pitched in there, he never lost interest. Whereas, you know, fishing something like a jig, you know, oh yeah, he's back on it. He's back on the bed. But fishing something like a jig, you know, you'll get them fired up, get them fired up. And then sometimes they'll kind of seem like they lose interest with this. Every single pitch in there, he was like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Just because I feel like that big presentation is just so... Every fish is going to be different, but that big presentation is so threatening. And, you know, you got to protect the home nest so cool that's my also my first ever glide bait fish so two of my favorite things big baits and bed fishing <laughs> in june june 4th of all days to catch a bed fish so now we've had bites on all of our other lures we just got to land fish on them i've had two bites on the frog had bites on the plopper we also have a walking bait that leo picked out for us that we still haven't caught a fish on but we got one on the glide bait that should be the hard part out of the way There we go. There we go. <laughs> First one. I fished that frog all the way down this grass line. We're here for a second day. I haven't caught anything on the frog, but we got one on our plopper. Just out here, kind of in the middle. Finally, boys. Finally, finally, finally. Let's go. Man, I had to show you all the hook rash on this thing from yesterday because I threw it. It wasn't for a lack of trying yesterday. I threw this thing until lunch. No bites. I don't know if I'm gonna land them, so we're gonna go quick. Hey, that is such a good sight to see. Gosh, man, I was like, dude, I only caught two fish in four hours yesterday. I can't do that. The tournament videos have already been a struggle enough. I gotta, I'm out here doing what I wanted to do, throwing top water. I can't post a video with two fish in it. Oh, hook pop right out that thing. I know, I know it's not a bad bait. I just feel like it might have just, might have not been with the fish one. Look at that, that's a good one. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Bass. Sick, see you later. Whew. All right, check out the hook rash on this bait. I mean, I literally threw this thing, I cut the video short, I, like I stopped it around where I caught the last fish. But I mean, I threw this thing for so long yesterday. Like, that's just from a day. That's from six or seven hours of throwing it. And it's not a bad bait. I haven't knocked any, you know, huge pieces of paint off of it or anything because I was banging it up against trees and rocks and everything yesterday. All right. Let's see if we can catch some more. I'm going to fish it down the dam. Uh, this is deeper water, so maybe that'll make some type of difference because I went all the way down this other bank with the frog, not even a nibble. Um, and I was casting it up into the grass. So maybe the fish kind of want it brought out instead of parallel. So let's see. And then whenever we get back to the back of the pond, I'm gonna pick the frog back up and see if we can't pull a couple more off of it. Of course I cast it right on top of this bit. Came up behind it again. We've had two close calls. A lot more productive than what the frog was to this point. Maybe I need to slow it down a little bit. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh, man, that was a sick frog eat. Horrible cast. The second hits the water. Those are the ones that are the best. And he choked it. Not the biggest fish in the world, but not a bad one either. 
it doesn't matter about the size of the fish. When you're catching them on a frog, they can be a pound, they can be 10 pounds. Well, 10 pounds would be cool. They could be a pound or four, it doesn't matter. Look how he choked it. Come here, boy. Frog for breakfast? Oh, and I'm bleeding. There we go. That'll get you fired up in the morning. <laughs> Get you unhooked. Thought I could be cool and not have to break out the pliers, but I haven't reached that point yet. All right, here's our first frog fish, not the biggest one in the world, but probably about a two pounder or so. Oh, so now we have officially caught fish. Well, we still haven't done the walking bait. I forgot all about that. Okay, we're gonna keep fishing this frog because that's a lot of fun. Um, and then we still got one more lure we gotta try to catch a fish on. But I also brought my tackle box with the other two lures in them. So caught fish on everything i feel like there should be some more frog fish to be caught i was so sick that was a horrible cast on my part but i mean the second the frog hit the water that fish was like oh uh. <laughs> am i complaining no <laughs> Man, that's so sick i love a good frog eat. i mean there's nothing better than like frog bites early in the morning just go ahead and get the day going catching about three or four of them on a frog Got there's another one <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. I sent my frog up the line. So I definitely appreciate that, sir. You owe me a new frog. Cool, there's fish number two on it. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm not playing with a stick hook right here. Let's see. Oh, popped right out. Awesome, there's fish number two on the frog, but three on the video off of that little grass patch over there so eating it how i thought they should be eating it um or eating it in places where i thought they should be eating it just not necessarily the biggest bass that we're used to you know we gotta catch a, we gotta find a big one so when this used to happen this used to confuse the heck out of me like when i watch youtube videos i'm like okay when the hooks come out how do you you know re-rig it but it's just like a texas rig you just push the hook back through and then you do the same twist that you do on a texas rig you just twist it around and sometimes it's easier just to pull on the line but you got to be careful too because you don't want to you don't want the body of the frog to slip out of your hand and getting your finger because i have not had frog hooks in my hand but i do not believe that they would feel the greatest and sometimes it's easier to hold the hook and then pull hold the hook and then pull the line like wrap it around your fingers a few times like i have and then pull it to get it back through That's the cool thing about frogs too, is like they're like the ultimate plastic bait because or rubber bait. I don't think I've ever got a frog. I don't think I've ever got a frog to the point where I can't use it anymore. There we go. That's more. Hey, that's one on the glide bait. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Not the biggest one in the world. Still in spotlight, but it is a fish. I've gotten hung up on so many like bushes and whatnot. But this one, the glide bait was shaking. You know, tree chops normally don't vibrate whenever you get stuck in them. This one was like, there we go. That's fish number two. Second glide bait fish ever for me. I still don't have a net. No, I didn't just fall. <laughs> Did that on purpose. I totally just fell. Hey, chill out. Oh yeah, baby. He got both of them too. So I might switch out the glide bait for the walking bait. Uh, sorry, Leo, but I feel like this is a little bit more challenging. Well, that walking bait right now would be more challenging because it's literally the middle of the day. Cool. Yeah. There, that's a second glide bait fish. You might even be able to say first because the last one I caught was off of a bed. So. Woo, that's awesome. That might be the thickest one of the day. These fish in here are so healthy. Every single last one of them are super duper healthy. Cool. Let's check out the bait. My tail's a little crooked. That's awesome. So sweet. All right, Leo, tell them what we're doing. What are we about to do? We go catch a 
extra fishies. How many fishies do you want to catch? Uh, ten fishies. We're, our goal is ten fishies. Our other goal is to make sure Leo doesn't get bored because a big thing that I try to make sure we do every time we go fishing is we make it kind of you know short and sweet so he doesn't lose focus and then also so we don't lose Emma who's behind the camera. <laughs> so we're gonna try for 10 fishies and we only have like an hour. So are you ready? Yeah. Are you excited? All right. Give him a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so hopefully want... okay. we'll catch 10. Do you want to catch 10 big ones or little ones? 10 ones. All right, what color should we use? Should we use yellow or should we use white? This. You're gonna use the yellow? Yellow. Ooh. <laughs> That's big. All right. You wanna put it on the hook? Yeah. How are... Is this what we used last time to catch fish? How are... Here, look, let's put some in the top so we can get them quick. <laughs> get some. That's enough. That's enough? <laughs> okay. I can go in the water. Yeah, you can throw one in the water so you can call the fish up, chum it a little bit. I feel like that's an important part of fishing, like with a child or with your child, is just kind of let them do their own thing. You don't really, you know, don't do that, son, stop. Oh, I like one. All right, let's cast this out and see if we can catch a fishy, okay? Do you want to cast it? Yeah. Okay, hold on, let me help you. And let make sure mama gets out of the way so we don't get hooks in our head. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, we gotta push this button. Go back and sling it. Good job. We got a bat. You remember what to do? There's a lot of wake on the water, so we're gonna have to make sure we we're watching. I, I don't want to catch a fish. You don't want to catch a fish? Okay, that's but fine. I can't get it. Don't get in that water. It's not a swimming pool. I think you picked a good color to throw. Look, we're gonna go out a little bit farther. That's my well, uh, a lot of casts later, and the phone's been broken out. <laughs> what are you watching? What are you watching? This one. PBS Kids. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Not with him crossing his legs. Yeah. <laughs> Last time we were here, it was way better than this, so we figured we could come and catch, you know. 10, like you said in the beginning, but it's slow. So, I mean, we're still out fishing. We're enjoying the water and Leo's just, Leo's just Leo and he's chilling. So hopefully we'll catch one. We're not gonna stay out for too long because of course I don't want him to ever get burned out of fishing and not want to go. So I'm just gonna keep hanging out and hoping for the best. Are you getting sleepy, man? Me too. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we don't have too long. Come here, Stinky. Come here, all right, it's about dark. But I think we found a promising spot. We walked over here closer to the dock, closer to some light. And we saw a couple. But also I just got robbed, so that could have been the one fish and it just left with the meal, so. All right, watch, Leo. Oh, Leo, we're getting bites. I'm gonna come sit beside you. Pay attention. Oh, can you see that? Oh, we got one. We got a little one. We got a little one. Oh, yay! Yay! I heard it. We stay persistent. See, there's some life lessons in this here. Let Daddy take it off and then you can hold it. It's a full of water. All right, you want to put him back? That's back. You can oh, hold it. You can hold it. You can hold it. You no, I can't. Here, come get it. I can't hold it. It's okay. <laughs> okay, well, do you want to kiss him? Mwah. Daddy kissed him. You don't want to kiss him? Normally, the first time we came out here, he was all for holding him. Look, let's try to catch another one. Hey, if you touch it again, you're getting a whooping, yes, sir? You're going to get a big whooping. <laughs> Reality TV, folks. <laughs> Leo is the dramatic sister. <laughs> Did they catch 
get rid of my face. <laughs> You're not killing me, babe. <laughs> come here, man. Come sit in my lap. Will you come sit in my lap? Please? Please? What if I go get you a Spider-Man toy? Then will you sit in my lap? What? Okay, no Spider-Man toys for Leo. Nope, you didn't sit in my lap, so you can't get a Spider-Man toy. Daddy's going to catch a fish. Look, Daddy's about to catch a big fish. I can smell it. No. You smell that? It smells like big fishy. Tell me. Here's <laughs> These can be bloopers in your... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come, come fight them, Leo. Leo, come go, get look, Go. Go reel it in. Okay, okay. That one? Yeah, come fight them. Come reel them. You reel. I think he's huge, Leo. Please tell me that's not poop. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you got him. Oh my gosh, Leo, he's huge. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. What's that? Leo, no. Yeah. Le <gasps> I feel like nobody on YouTube has ever seen me. Oh. <laughs> no more. You're getting a whooping when we get home. You're getting a whooping. Come here. No, no, whooping no. time. Come here. Do you want to fight him? Look, this is the last one. Oh, this one's bigger. I should make you take this one home and eat it since you got rid of all of our bait. Huh? It's in the water. Do you want to go swim and get it? No. I think you should. No. I can't get it. See it? All right, guys. Um, we're gonna end it here. Do you mind showing them all the lures that are in the all the bait that's in the water? We're gonna get that cup out of the water <laughs> to the best of our ability. But at least we fed the fish population, and I would be lying if I said that I didn't do that. So I guess this is just kind of a full circle moment because when. We would go live bait fishing with my dad. I would always just throw all the worms in the water because I feel like the best place for them was in the water. But yeah, just as long as we clean up our mess, I mean, all this stuff I'm sure is biodegradable. And Leo, Leo had fun. He's been trying to do that all day. So, I mean, Leo, don't, don't throw the plastic in the water. Ah, Leo, help, shark, shark, Leo, help, shark, Leo, shark, help. Shark on my arm! Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Alright, your turn. Okay. Okay. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's pretty much what it's like fishing with a two-year-old for any more than an hour. So hopefully this was a good experience for him. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Yeah, so <laughs> that means he had a great time. Um, <laughs> happy Father's Day. I uh, hope you guys get to spend time with loved ones. The special father in your life. Leo, did you have a good day today? Yeah. What would you do today? I caught a fishy. You caught a fishy. Awesome. I think Daddy got in the ant bed because I'm getting tore up by ants currently. So um, I'm going to get these off of me, and we will talk to you on the next one. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day. Peace. Okay, well, I'm taking my iPad. <laughs> I'm gonna watch your iPad all night tonight. Chasing a bag, I'm racing the clock. Look at him block, watching him block. Used to see this in my sleep. When I ain't had shit, but my thoughts in the car, I really was lost. Now I'm public with the soundscapes.